hey guys so in the last lecture we were discussing wave energy that how we can get energy from the waves so in first we have seen what is the power in the waves so we have plotted a graph where uh, we plotted it two graphs where the first graph is at time t equal to 0 and then another graph is at time t equal to t so the view is a sinusoidal therefore we have drawn it as a sine sine curve and at time t equal to t it, it is moving forward so the graph is x versus y so uh, so we have plotted an equation of a sinusoidal simple harmonic wave that is y that is y is equal to a sin 2 pi by lambda x minus 2 pi by tau t where lambda is wavelength tau is time period in seconds so in this uh, we have got uh, that we have got that the expression can be expressed as y is equal to a sin so this expression can be expressed as y is equal to a sin mx minus nt where we will call constants m is equal to 2 pi by lambda and n is equal to 2 pi by tau and is equal to 2 pi by tau so these are the phase rate so these are phase rate so now the total energy of the wave so the total energy of the wave is the sum of so total energy is the sum of potential energy plus kinetic energy of the wave so first of all we will see potential energy so pe so the potential energy of the wave is due to the elevation of water above the mean sea level so it is the elevation of the water above the mean sea level so that is the elevation above mean sea level so that is uh, the mean sea level is y is equal to zero suppose so considering a differential volume that is volume is y dx so it will have a mean height of lambda by 2 so mean height will be lambda by 2 so the potential energy that is d p e is equal to that is m g into y by 2 so the potential energy as we know the formula is mgh so here height uh, we have taken y by 2 so the mean height will be uh, sorry not lambda by 2 but y by 2 so the mean height will be y by 2 so that is uh, mg by by 2 so if we uh, if we substitute the value of m mg oh sorry m so the value of m is as you know that mass is density into volume so volume is uh, this is a volume that is y dx into l this is the volume that is y dx into l so into g into y by 2 so this formula will be rho g y square l dx divided by 2 so what is l so here l is an arbitrary width between two dimensional waves perpendicular to the direction of the wave propagation so it is an arbitrary width it is arbitrary width it is an arbitrary width of two dimensional waves 
or two dimensional wave perpendicular to the direction of the wave propagation so it is the perpendicular to the direction of the wave propagation x in meters so if we combine the equation this this equation and the other equation of y so you will get that so if in this equation suppose pe if we call pe will be equal to rho g rho g l so rho g l so what is remaining divided by 2 into bright into integration uh, y square so we are left with y square dx so we are left with y square dx so now we will use the formula of y which uh, you got here so the formula for y what is the formula of y this a sin mx minus nt so this formula we will use so the potential energy is equal to rho g l by 2 to integration so y is a square sin square mx minus nt mx minus nt into dx so mx minus nt into dx so potential energy is rho l a square g by 2 into 1 by 2 if, if now we integrate this so a is a constant so it will come out now the integration of sine square mx minus nt will be 1 by 2 mx minus 1 by 4 sine 2 mx and the limits are 0 to lambda the limits are 0 to lambda so the limits are 0 to lambda so lambda is one full cycle if the completion of one full cycle that is the wavelength so the potential energy will be 1 by 4 rho g a square lambda l so this is the potential energy the potential energy density per unit area that is pe by a will be if i want to find what is pe by a so what is the area so area is lambda into l that is area so pe by a will be equal to 1 by 4 rho g a square so this is the formula of potential energy per unit area it is 1 by 4 rho g a square now we, we have to find kinetic energy so what was kinetic energy so the second point is kinetic energy so now the kinetic energy will be the same value or that is of potential energy so what a potential energy we have found that is potential energy per unit area is 1 by 4 rho g a square so the same will be the kinetic energy so now if we find the total energy so total energy density total energy per unit area will be equal to potential energy per unit area plus kinetic energy per unit area so total energy per unit area will be 1 by 2 rho g a square so that is total energy per unit area that is 1 by 2 rho g a square so now if you want to find the power so what is power so power as we know that it is energy per unit time so power is energy per unit time so that is if, if we can also call it this energy into frequency if you want to call it so power per unit area will be 1 by 2 rho g a square f where f is frequency so this is power per unit area 
so this is the power in the wheels with how much power does the wheels have so now you will see various devices energy conversion devices which are used to get this power from the wheels so the wave energy is as we know it is a combination of kinetic energy and potential energy available in the sea waves so if the wave advances in the horizontal plane it is due to kinetic energy when the water moves in the vertical plane it is action of potential energy that means this is kinetic energy and this is potential energy so this is the horizontal plane this is the horizontal plane and this is the vertical plane so it is the action the energy in the waves is harnessed basically in the form of mechanical energy using wave energy converters so a wave device may be placed in the ocean in various possible situations and location and the fluctuating mechanical energy obtained is modified smoothened out to drive a generator so some designs of wave energy converters will be will be discussed so first is uh, first is float type float type wave energy converters so float type wave energy converters so the beyond sea is a floating part so that's wrong so in this float type wave energy converters this is the float this is the float or called bio b u o y b o so this short form this uh, short of bionse so bio is a floating part of a system which rises and falls with rise and fall of the sea waves so resulting vertical motion so this will result in vertical motion is used to operate the piston of an air pump through the linkage the pump may be anchored or moored to the seabed and several float operated air pumps are used to store energy in a compressed storage the compressed air is used to generate the electricity so see so the pump so this the resulting vertical motion is operated for this piston of an air pump through a linkage so the pump is anchored and moved to the seabed and several float operated air pumps are used to store energy here in compressed air storage and the compressed air is used to generate electricity through an air turbine through an air turbine coupled with generator so this will generate electricity so the arrangement of a float with air pump is this now in another design this is, the, this is another design of float air pump so this is the design so the hydraulic pump is operated by the motion of the bio so here same the bio is there here the linkage is there the piston cylinder is there so here the hydraulic pump is operated by motion of the bio to raise water to an onshore to an onshore reservoir so this is an uh, onshore reservoir and passed and this is passed so this water is passed to the reservoir uh, through a turbo generator to generate electricity and the arrange this is the arrangement so here the water is passed to the reservoir here which which is generating the electricity now the there is another type of energy converter that is dolphin wave energy converter so here in the dolphin wave energy converter the devices uses the float so this is the float floating generator so this is the waves suppose these are the waves 
so the device uses the float which is two motions the first is rolling motion with its own fulcrum with connecting rod so the first is a rolling motion about its fulcrum with connecting rod the revolving movements so the revolving movements so suppose this is the fulcrum so the revolving movements are caused between the float and the connecting rod so this is the connecting rod is a float so revolving movement are caused the other is a nearly vertical or having motion about the connecting rod and the fulcrum so it causes relative revolving movements between the connecting rod so the other is a re nearly revolving or heaving motion about the connecting rod about the connecting rod fulcrum so it it causes relative revolving movements between the connecting rod so this will cause a revolving movement so this will cause a revolving movement around the connecting rod so and the stationary dolphin so and both the cases the movements are amplified and converted by gears into continuous rotary motions that drives the two electric generators so this drives the generators so this is the dolphin type wave energy converter so there is another wave energy converter that is oscillating oh sorry this third number that is oscillating water column type water column type energy converter so it is most common wave energy converting device it consists of basically a chamber in the sea exposed to a wave action so suppose this will be the chamber so this is a chamber So this is a chamber in a sea. So this is a chamber. It comes of a chamber in a sea exposed to a view. This is, this is exposed to a view. So this is a view. Action through opening on one side. So there is an opening here on one side. So the air inside the chamber is alternatively compressed or expanded. So here there is an air. So here there is an air which is compressed and expanded. So here it is compressed and expanded because of wave action. So because of wave action, so consequently pulsating bidirectional air movement occurs through an opening the top of the chamber so uh, the bidirectional flow can be converted through a system of four valves to a unidirectional flow so this bidirectional flow can be converted to a unidirectional flow so this is achieved by having two valves open and two closed at any given instant so two valve open and two valve closed at any given instant the unidirectional uh, drives an air turbine so this will drive an air turbine so which is then coupled to an electric generator so this is coupled to an electric generator and this type of wave energy converter is very much useful so this is an oscillating oscillating water column type is oscillating water column type wave generator so we will discuss few advantages and disadvantages of wave energy so advantages is wave energy is more concentrated than wind or solar energy so it is more concentrated than 
wind and solar energy it is free renewable and it is pollution free and do not use a large masses unlike solar or wind it doesn't require more, more land so disadvantage the disadvantage is that the energy available in the ocean the extra equipment must be operated in a marine environment so wave energy converters have to be designed to withstand very severe peak stresses and storms so it is a site specific not many accessible sites of large wave activity and there is a large variation in height and frequency of waves throughout the year at any given location thus the power output fluctuates widely and the energy may have to be transported to a greater distance to the shore so these are the few disadvantages so this ends the our view of energy that is we have discussed uh, first tidal energy and uh, before that ocean thermal energy and this is the wave energy so we discussed all the three uh, so all the three points from which we can uh, get the energy from the ocean so i hope you got all the three point uh, all the three topics and this was the end of the wave energy so thank you very much